Hey YouTube, it's me, BlueMike155. Today I'm going to show you how to install Photoshop CS3 Extended using this video called Free Photoshop CS3 Extended by Novik Transfusion, whatever. Yeah, um, this is a link from my video on YouTube. Um, I give all the credit to him. I absolutely do not take any kind of, uh, uh, authority or authority. Um, you know what I'm trying to say. This ain't. This is. This isn't my program. He did all of this. So, um, give credit to him when it's due. Subscribe if you need to. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to install it. So after you go to this video, which the link will be in the video description, and um, once you go there, check out the his video description and click on the link. Media Fire. So after it finished loading up, you're gonna want to come right here where it says "Click here to start download," and press start. Let me click on it. Now I'm running Firefox, so this comes up. If you want it, Internet Explorer, it might show something a little different. So I'm gonna save the file, and as you can see, it's saving. Um, it's automatically set up to save on my desktop, so. If you haven't set that up, you might want to do that. The file isn't that big, it's like 50 megabytes, so don't worry about it. But like the total install inst installation of um, Photoshop is pretty small compared to other sizes. Okay, so it downloaded. So I'm just going to close this out. And uh, close this out. All right, so here's the file you're gonna be getting. It's gonna look something like this. And uh, since I have an, an external hard drive, I'm gonna install it on there because I already have um, Photoshop installed on my laptop itself. So I'd rather install it somewhere else. So you know, just for the purpose of this video. So I'm just gonna right click. I'm gonna copy it. Go to my computer. And uh, I'm gonna select my external hard drive, which is this one right here. My 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 book is called this uh, external hard drive. So I'm gonna double click on that, and as you can see, I already have it here. So I'm just gonna delete it, and uh, I'm just gonna paste it right here. So as you can see, it's copying. Okay, so once you have it there, you're going to want to make a folder in your external hard drive. If you don't have an external hard drive, you just have regular, you know, hard drive on your computer or laptop. Um, you could just, you know, paste it. You know, this could be on your desktop. You don't have to do anything. So if you download it and it's right here on your desktop, that's fine. You could just double click on it and just install it. So I'm just going to show you. So just pretend this is your desktop. So once it's here, um, uh... You double click. Actually, I'm gonna create a, a quick file, quick folder. I'm gonna call it CS3. And I'm gonna call it Photoshop. Let me see if you can see that. There you go, Photoshop CS3. Right. So I created that folder, and um, I'm gonna double click. Now, if it doesn't run and you're running on Windows Vista, just right click and then click on Run as Administrator. So I'm going to click Allow. Okay, so you greet it with this screen right here that says Welcome to Photoshop CS3 Install Program. So click Next. Um, and this is what uh, I'm guessing the person on YouTube posted up his um, little custom install thing. Anyway, so if you have any problems, I guess you can email this person or whatever. So next, um, you agree not to, you know, share this or distri distribute this install program. Yeah, just click agree and click next, and then you can enter any kind of information like Mike or or John or James, whatever. Um, so I'm gonna call it Mike. And you don't have to enter company. Now for the registration code, 
remember go back to the YouTube page where you got the on Photoshop from copy the first part to where it's before it gets to the uh, underscore right click copy go back to the install program right click and paste so that's the first part now for the third part I mean second part go back into the YouTube video copy where it starts at 8 and ends at 7 copy install program paste and do the same thing for the last part do not copy the underscores or you know what they are paste so after that's done it's gonna say next then you get the choice to where you want to install Photoshop so automatically it's gonna be in your local C drive so if it is then that's perfect if you're on a regular computer but since I'm doing mine on an external hard drive I'm just gonna change that but otherwise this is just perfect for you if you don't have Photoshop at all on your computer so if you do and you have important um, other files of Photoshop you have on it and don't want to delete them you might want to create a new folder like I did and install it there so I'm gonna show you how to do that so like I said if you just want if you don't have Photoshop at all and this setting is in there that's perfect you don't have to do anything just click next but in my case I'm just gonna install it into my external hard drive so I'm just click that file click my my computer and click my external hard drive and I believe I made a folder called Photoshop CS3 so I'm press ok and as you can see it says my L drive which is my hard drive my um, external one and Photoshop CS3 and that's how much space it takes up not very much so it's perfect click next and it says click next I mean click start to install all you have to do is just wait for everything to be installed on your computer or external hard drive in my case and you're gonna be done so just wait and I'm just gonna let this finish installing while I pause the video so be right back alright everybody so Photoshop CS3 is now installed on my computer well external hard drive um so after it's finished installed it will say this inst installation complete Photoshop CS3 has been successfully installed so you could just click exit and I'm going to go into my external hard drive and the folder I chose to install my Photoshop in as you can see it only takes 67 megabytes or whatever um so right here is where you're gonna have your Photoshop at um and in this in this folder right here presets is where you can put in your brushes that's also gonna be included in my website um, alright so I'm gonna have some brushes on my website you could get um let me see some custom gradients what else do I have on my website I'm gonna be including some new patterns from different websites you can download from uh, some definitely some Photoshop styles I have a lot of my videos that require that you do um have some of my Photoshop styles um so you're gonna have that so this is me Mike or Blue Mike 155 on YouTube just search Blue Mike 155 at YouTube and this is my channel subscribe rate and comment this video and I'll make some more videos soon. See ya.